Ken Trail. Not Ken Trail. Not Ken Trail. Ken Trail. NBA Young Boy. What is he doing, bro? Now, again, this is probably what. Well, you're not seeing this alleged, I'm going to just say this alleged, I don't know. It was reported by All Hip Hop, so we're going to talk about it. But apparently, NBA Youngboy tests pos positive for THC after he's caught faking drug, a drug test. Now, if you don't know, this nigga just beat the feds. He dropped um, the last slimy toe, so my nigga might be independent. It, it might be off Atlantic Records, but like I said, there was a Kodak video. It's probably, um, it's on King Academic's page, like, uh, fucking Kodak was banned so for one second, for one fucking reason. But with that being, oh yeah, sorry for the background noise, motherfuckers talking, I'm sorry. But basically, what happened with that being said is, um, basically, he's free or whatever, but he's still finding the case. He beat one fed case, he still got another case to go, and then he's free of everything. You know, you see him with the ankle monitor and shit. But with that being said, apparently, he was there, he was high on something, he tried to fake his test. And they caught his ass. So we just gonna read the article and see what the fuck's happening. This ain't a good look, Ken Trail. Come on, Ken Trail. I mean, your name's still buzzing because you know your album out, but still, Ken Trail. Ken Trail. What is, what is you doing, man? But let's talk about this. You already know what it is. It's your boy, K A K. So good he sleep with a cut up with Tony. You know the little nigga wanna turn this game into this thing real quick. I'm that dude, I'm that rude, I'm that sick. Like and subscribe real quick if you fuck with the jit. But anyways, NBA Youngboy's hopes of being taken off house arrest may be in jeopardy after he was reportedly caught trying to fake a drug test. According to All Hip Hop, the Baton Rouge native used someone else's urine sample and attempted to pass it off as his own during an legally required drug test in late July. When Youngboy's plan was foiled and he was forced to provide a legitimate urine sample, he tested positive for THC. The main psycho psychoactive compound found in marijuana. I don't know if I said that word right, but whatever the fuck. Court documents allege the 22-year-old who was found not guilty on federal gun charges in Los Angeles on July 15th used a device to fill the testing cup with someone else's clean urine. When the observing officer noticed the device and confronted him, a young boy denied the allegation and snuck, snuck out of the premises without permission. The following day, he provided a legitimate urine sample which came up positive. Upon questioning, the top rapper uh, confessed to using a CBD vape pen uh, throughout his pre-trial supervision. He also claimed he took an at-home drug test the week before and panicked when it it tested positive for a THC, fearing he'd violate the terms of his pre-trial release. The U.S. Attorney's Office also accused NBA Youngboy of visiting a recording studio without permission of his probation officer. They believe these violations warrant him being kept on house arrest. The rapper has been on house arrest in Utah since October 2021. His legal team requested to modify his previous bail conditions and have him released from house arrest following his acquittal in july paving the way for a potential nationwide tour on the music side nba young boy released his latest album the last slimito on friday august 5th the the 30 track project of boost boasted guest appearances from quavo rod wave and kalani and marked his last release on atlantic records although a 16 a 60 million contract renewal has allegedly been agreed so again, I don't know if it's facts, if he's independent now, or he took the $60 million deal, who fucking knows. YB has released a string of music videos in support of the album, including a new one for digital on Sunday, August 7th. Man, YB going through it. Now at least, hey, he kept it a buck. He said he was doing what he was doing. And I could appreciate that. It was hot as a motherfucker, I'm sorry. And I could appreciate that, but man, YB, this ain't a good look. Like, I know you beat one case and you happy, you celebrating and shit, but you still got one more fake case to go. Nigga still got the ankle monitor and shit. Now he said, hey, he did what he did. He was fearful it's going to come up positive. So he tried to do what he doing and he did the next one and he's like, hey, whatever happens. Well, at least he was being honest. I get it at the uh, official time that happened. He wasn't being honest, so probably don't have something. Shooter is hot in a bitch. I am so sorry. But with that being said, um... Hey, hopefully he gets out this jam, bro. Honestly, just go find the other case and he's good. If you keep him on house arrest, I'm not mad at that. I get it. He violated some shit. As long as it's not giving you jail time, bro, you just gonna have to take the loss there. It was what it was. Maybe you didn't think the vape would affect you like that, but hey, 
shit just happens that way, bro. Hey. But like I said, bro, you good. Your album doing good. And if it is true that you did get this $60 million deal, I am not 100% sure about it, then hey, good on you. You know what I'm saying? Now, hopefully, they structure your shit properly where you could drop when you want to drop. But I digress. We don't fucking know. And that's fucking what, nigga? 60 million? If that was agreed upon? God damn. Well, that, like I was saying, man, that's crazy, though. Yeah, motherfuckers be loud as hell. But yeah, that's crazy. Like, honestly, yo, hopefully, you good. You got the 60 million, the 60 million dollar deal, bro. Hey, he's good. Hopefully, they, he could drop more than he wants and they're not gonna, like, cheat him out of it when he drops like mixtapes or not official out again bro record labels just really weird they be shysty as a motherfucker but that's a whole nother video for a day i might do a video because recently it came up with jack boy's interview with off the record he talked about basically he was signed to snipe again for one project but if they get him a proper label deal he owes them fine five it's like a shopping deal if you will we're gonna shop you around once you get a deal so i might try to break that down a little bit you know what i'm saying because that might also be the like a finder's fee thing like how uh, Rocco was supposed to get some uh, money off of future uh, futures albums and how Drake was signed to Jay Prince and then he they got them he got him the young money deal you know what I'm saying so we could kind of break some shit down talk about these shopping deals and shit like that but yeah with that being said hey, young boy keep your head up bro stop doing this shit I feel like this nigga just like weed too much or whatever the fuck but hey like some house arrest it is what it is you got caught up if they gonna give you more time it is what it is at least they ain't putting you in fucking jail so hey just hold your head up by go beat your other case and then you free of this shit but yeah what do you think about this information put that in the comments down below check out the links in the description i got some other vids for y'all to check out and besides all that is your friendly neighborhood ka signing off for today the black tj there while they're doing this thing my name ring bells like quasimodo hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more though you hear me i'm gone slime zoom peace shout out gang. Aye.